Welcome into the Nexus Gaming Series Division E East matchup of uh, Yavapov, whatever, whatever. We call him Swim for short on the left-hand side with a Muradin, Malthiel, Asmodan, Brightwing, uh, uh, and Li Ming. Dear Lord. Over on the right-hand side, we have Souls in slow-mo. Slow motion? Slow-mo. Slow-mo. Souls in slow-mo. We have a Stitches, Junkrat, Anduin, Vala, and Leoric. Let's go ahead and start that prediction as you can see, Asmodan's level one, but we're not talking about level one here, chat. We're not talking about 200. No, 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 no. We're talking about 400 Annihilation stacks. But I do want to point out one fact about Gluttony, if you do not know. The Globe of Annihilation, when hitting heroes, is now going to give four stacks instead of two. That is something to note. So it's a little bit faster stacking for the Asmodan, potentially, if you would like to gamble. Oh, wow, 690 to 690. Chat's got the right ideas today. Chat's got the right idea today. Malthiel. In the bottom lane, gonna just be soaking up immediately. Vala gonna be going into Q at level one. And shout out to whoever bet 6-9. Yeah, like, I love that. Maybe it was Desert Jester? Though Desert Jester sometimes puts like 6,900. First Blood will be the bright wing to go down. Vala gonna pick up a second stack into the Li Ming. And you still have time on your gamble if you'd like to. Uh, we're doing some fun bets for the NGS game, so if you uh, if you want to gamble on some some more unique bets, because obviously you could just go and find out how the results of this game are, but I don't think you can find out how many stacks Asmodan has. I guess technically you could if you went and downloaded and fast forwarded, but that would not be worth it. It's not worth it. I want to know who's on my same wavelength at the moment. I don't honestly I don't know. Might have been might have been just a silent gambler. Uh prediction will close soon. If you'd like to get the last second prediction in, but we will see some camps to be grabbed. Uh three members to grab a camp over here with the Asmodan. I feel like they could have just left Asmodan on his own to grab it and help out the Malfield down over here. Maybe Brightwing of the face shift into the Malfield to make sure that he doesn't die over here. Malfield is doing Alright, this is a very good thing that I want to point out. So see how Malfield's moving around? See how there's this back there's this back uh what's it called? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead? He's dead. He gets the camp, but he's dead. Um there's a very good tactic where you can basically run in a circle. I actually learned it from Justin. You can run in a circle, and you can have one of the three melee knights uh, run out of range, and they won't hit you, so you can just do the camp a little bit easier. So, little little tactic right there I wanted to point out that the Malfi was utilizing. Really cool. Oh, Vala. Getting a little low down here in bottom lane. We'll be able to back away, tap well. We are going to be seeing our stitches in position for the first objective before it even spawns. Going to try and pull. Nope, didn't actually go for the pull. Going to be rotating down to go help Vala clear, I guess. Interesting. A little miscommunication right there. Junkrat throws the, seal, uh, the concussion mine out. Asmodan going for the channel. I think he'll be interrupted. That's a hook just shy. Brightwing will be interrupted by a slam from the Stitches. Another dunk from Mazadan, 36 right now for him. Leoric on the right side of this engagement. Siege Giants in the bottom lane. Camel not being delayed out just yet. Li Ming will get hit by a couple frag launcher grenades. A phase shift from Brightwing right onto Muradin. And a lot of low bars on the right side of our screen for the souls in slow-mo. Yavapov, or Swim as we call them. Gonna be able to get the channel uninterrupted this time. And that'll be the end of the engagement. Okay. Top lane, we will see some waves to be cleared out. Uh, Asmodan, he's gonna double back after tapping well for dunks in mid. Okay. 60 stacks for him as Vala picks up 11 on her level one. Maybe gonna vault forward here and look for another one? Nah, Leoric is gonna be up in the top lane, still macing his way through the lane. Uh, we also do have the Paralyzing Rage, increases the slope from 40% to 60%. Malthiel gonna work his way onto the two Siege Giants as our next seed will be up and available in 20 seconds, right side of the map. Okay, Face Shifter just gonna play safe by the gate. Seven Talenteers here. We got Steel Traps for the Junkrat and four and seven, as well as the blow em up Leoric is just going to clear out top. 
Uh, Li Ming maybe gonna look for the fort or for the tower. Yeah, I think she's, she was considering to throw a combo out, but gonna save the resources. Vala dumps some damage into Murden, picking up more on that level one, as I had mentioned. 80 for the Asmodan right now. Might be looking for a delay with a dunk. Arcane Orb from Li Ming. There's a dunk in. No delay, but still stacks for the Asmodan as the face shift from Brightwing does connect. Murden chasing on to Vala. No Skullcracker for the Murden. And Malthiel will go down, unable to heal through the pain. A little too much damage out there. A little too much damage to be thrown out there. And a uh, good hook onto the right wing. Can they get the kill? Li Ming throwing in an arcane orb here and there. We do have orb build Li Ming. Orb build Li Ming here. Laser from Azadan just out of range. Siege Giants in mid still pushing in. Actually, are they getting any value? Yes, they are. They're getting decent value. What's up, Tan? Yes, we are Morbin and Orbin. All right, a seed, a second seed, excuse me, to our blue squad. Uh, Yavapob going to be able to move onto this camp as well. And that will be a uh, seed giant camp to go down. Leork is just going to be hanging around in top lane, not going to be pushing out the wave. Okay. Malfield soaks up the bottom and 10 talent here around the corner. So as always, you know the deal, chat. You know the deal. We're going to look through the other numbers, get an idea of what they look like. What's up, Wildfire? How you doing today, bud? Hope you're having a great Thursday. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me and Bandit and supporting the stream and being awesome. Thanks for being awesome, everyone. Seriously. Very much appreciate you all today. Tomorrow morning, by the way, is Dark Souls 2. Saturday is Heroes of the Storm. We're going to probably do a little bit of viewer stuff. Uh, we'll do some, like, ARAMs and stuff. I don't think we're going to do any ranked. Maybe I'll do a couple ranked games, and then we'll do, like, viewer games when chat gets a little bit more uh, full. And then Sunday is uh, EU in-houses and Darkest Dungeon. We'll do some EU in-houses until they're over, and then we will play some Darkest Dungeon. I do believe that is the game plan for the rest of the week. Oh, and if I can't stand Dark Souls tomorrow, then maybe we'll play some Darkest Dungeon. I'm not sure though. Collect the seed and don't fret. I get I get hangry towards the end of the Friday streams, and I'm just like, I don't, I just, I just want to go eat. This game sucks. And then I start it up again on the next Friday, and it's like, all right, well, let's progress until I hate the game again. More dunks out from Asvidan as the tens are here from both sides. We will be seeing a hook onto this Malfeel. Riptire from the Junkrat looking at the Muradin pops the Avatar. But Muradin taking a lot of damage from Vala. She will be able to... Actually, Leork steals that kill away. Malfield jumps through the Entomb. Holy Word Salvation. Holy Word Salvation. Can Malfield live here? He drops the last rites onto one. The dunk from Asmodan's good. Vala and Malfield to be traded. Though I don't think Sarah Lynn will be living. And a seed over to our red team. Yo, Ektar. What's up, bud? Yep. Yavapai. Tomorrow morning you will not appreciate us because you'll be in Dark Souls 2 hell. No, no, see, I will appreciate you all if 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 you all just distract me from the hell that is Dark Souls 2. Fridays are the day that y'all are supposed to entertain me while I entertain you. I like when we play dankest memes. Oh, well, we'll be playing dankest memes on the Sunday afternoon. How you doing, Ektar? I hope you're having a good uh, Thursday. Reign of Vengeance, a uh, hook. Youch. 224 stacks. Excuse me, for the Asmodan. He's working his way through those dunks. He does have cooldown reduction now that he's post 200. Leoric just chilling up here in the bush. Show, not showing on map. Next objective, top left. And 13 talent tier. It's close, but... Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little difficult actually Leork York might be able to soak it up in top lane There's a decent amount of uh, maybe uh, I think you need top and mid realistically Vala might be able to W the wave, but I don't think that's the priority I think the priority is going to be the team fight and most of the heroics are off cooldown except for Asmodan's uh, Except for Asmodan's Tide of Sin 4k4 is able to back away uh, Shan, thank you for the brand new tier one. I will resend your alert when we get out of game. Welcome to the Bahamuts, Shan. Uh, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Thanks for the cast. Hey, thank you for the brand new sub. That's super nice of you. Duncan from the Asmodans. Sarah Lynn gonna be able to, uh... Sorry, Sarah Lynn. 
uh, is gonna be is gonna be continuing to build up those stacks. Another good Duncan right there, and this is some slicing, some dicing, some trading. A little bit on kills here. It's two for two. The Garden Terror goes to our blue team. Swim is gonna be trying to get a kill onto Phase Shift for the wave of force pushes back Asmodan. He goes down. Or actually, didn't push back the Asmodan. It just looked like it. It just looked really weird there for a second. Well, anyways, Garden Terror is going to find some great value, though. Junkrat and Anduin are dead. There was a really slow rotation out of that fight, and... Ooh, that's a reset for Li Ming, maybe, onto uh, Dauntress. Aw, oh, that's a tap on the well. Okay. I thought, I thought Li Ming was actually going to find a reset there. Fridays are the days uh, we are supposed to pretend we don't know what rhetorical question is and spoil everything. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! I wonder if I can go this way. Well, Bahamut, what you want to do to beat the game is you want to go ahead and put all your stats into ADP. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Cut the tongue. Look up. Woo! A singular strike. Duncan from Asmodan. No bias here from me. I do like my Asmodans, but totally no bias from that one. 304 stacks for the Asmodan. More as the bottom wave will be cleared out. 14 to 14 in our level. 6 to 10 in kills, but when we take stock of the map, things are looking really good for Swim here. Things are looking good for Yavapai. Ektar! Wait, is Ektar still around? Is Ektar still around? Does anyone... Or does anyone in chat know what the full the full name of the Yavapai team is. It's like YC, my, the, 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 the. Does anyone have the full like name for Yavapai? I had to soft, I had to ban someone once for soft spamming skill issue in my chat. Don't be that guy. <laughs> I like, it's, it, you know, to say it once is a joke, to repeat it over and over again just becomes annoying. You know, like most comedy. Oh wait, hold on, it's in chat, hold on, hold on. Is there a f now I'm afraid that I'm gonna miss the fight. Yavapai County Municipal Youth Chess Club and Swim Team. Episode eight, the last patch. 4K4 gonna get hit with the last rights and gonna go to bed for the next 39 seconds. Shan getting low does go down in the trade. And that's a fight over the camp on the bottom left of our screen that Vala and the rest will be stepping into. A huge entomb from Leork will be coming up. Murden Dwarf Toss is in. He's looking for the damage onto Phase Shifter. And Li Ming does not get the orb out. Glass Cannon level 13, everyone. See, I just, I always like to note Li Ming talents because nobody in Twitch, nobody, nobody on the internet, nobody in the Heroes of Storm community ever disagrees with Li Ming builds. Ever, we all know that Li Ming has the most widely accepted builds in Heroes of the Storm. Everyone knows that. No one ever, ever argues about Li Ming builds. And that's what I love about this game, you know? I'm glad we have a, a hero that is so multifaceted. <laughs> Because they can all work. Exactly, CP. Exactly. <laughs> Arcane Orb build for Li Ming and Glass Cannon at level 13. Alrighty. You, you said Li Ming and I kept hearing Lili and I was like, what's he going on about? <laughs> I, I, I can't blame you. <laughs> So it's like when I watch Daystream, like, she'll say, like, Trinity, I love you, but I keep hearing Baha, I love you. Like, it's this weird thing. It's this weird thing. I keep mishearing it. You said Li Ming and I heard Azula? Wait, what? Uh? Uh? <laughs> 382? The game could end abruptly. A core could just randomly fall. We could see a Zagara backdoor with uh, Abathur. Remember those good old days when you didn't have to take down a keep and Zagara Abathur would just... Make your life the worst? Back when we had specialists. Goodbye, Li Ming! Youch! Ooh, Asmodan falls as well. Li Ming's voice act is the same one as Azula. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I am horrible with actors, actresses, 
in, in, in all those raids. I'll, I'll usually just be like, yo, that one person from this thing. But yeah, I have, I have, I'm, I'm horrible with actors and actresses. There are some that I'll know because I, I, you know, they, they're in good movies. Like Brendan Fraser. Like I, I know who he is because he's a good actor. <laughs> that guy with a face, yeah. Put some Li Ming voice, and you'll never be able to unhear. Uh... Oh, okay, okay, sorry. All right, well, either way, Malfield, bottom lane, uh, was trying to push up the wave into Leoric. We do have the top lane fort to fall. The first structure down against the members of Yavapai. Souls in slow motion. Going to be able to back away and maybe look for a guard terror here. There are no Li Ming. There's only a Sewell. <laughs> What's up, Kel? How you doing, bud? Good to see all of you. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for being here and checking out the games. So Siege Giants in top and mid. We've got th two out of three seeds for the side of Souls in slow motion. In slow-mo. And 20 talents to advantage almost here for our red team as well. Asmina going to try and dunk through this really quickly. Doesn't have the Master of Destruction for the splash clear on the All Shell Burn. Murden Dwarf Toss is in the back, but the rest of the team is still moving to the left-hand side. Little miscommunication on this engagement here as Asmodan's dunking out from afar. Li Ming going for the channel. Murden going in for the Stormbolt. That's the last rides on to Junkrat. The Malthio once again traded in that moment. Holy Word Salvation as the seed goes to the side of Yavapai. Asmodan with six stacks to go. He's going to be entombed. Polymorph phase shifter with the slow. I mentioned that extra slow from the level one. A hook from Asmodan. Brightwing with the blink heals are just enough. The drain hope. The drain hope. The Drain Hope is not enough. Muradin goes down to the right side. Asmodan, does he get a dunk to finish out his stacks? He gets the dunk, no finishing of stacks. Top lane, Siege Giants. Mid lane, Siege Giants. And in bottom lane, we will see a Bruiser Camp coming through soon. Next seed, top right of the map, 20 talents here to our red team. Buried alive, gas bag. That's what my ex used to call me. <laughs> We have the Light of Storm Wind, which is going to be a cooldown reduction of Holy Word Salvation to 20 seconds. It's an 80 second baseline cooldown. You reduce tw by you reduce 60 seconds off of it if you get the full duration of the it channel. Time. Do what must be done. What if Asmodan doesn't finish? What if he just What if he just never get lands a dunk? What if he just never lands a dunk? Garden Terrors are out. Four souls in slow-mo. Malfiel is working on those mid-lane Siege Giants. Rewind for Muradin. We've got the upgrade on Phase Shift. The Speedy Dragon permanently gained 20% movement speed and reduced Phase Shift cast time by one second. So that's a uh, one second channel for, for Phase Shift. There's Asmodan done with the dunks. He's got pride as well. Dunks, the pride, it's all finished out. Let's see what souls in slow-mo are able to do with this garden terror phase. Stitch is looking for a hook. Did he go master hook? No, I mentioned he went gas back, right? Rain of Vengeance from Vala connects onto two. The Junkrat Concussion Mine is going to put Li Ming into a really bad spot, but a huge dunk will get some great damage onto a lot of members. Rewind from Murden will be activated. Shan able to get into the back line. The Holy Word Salvation with the Invulnerable Factor does come through. Junkrat is going to get a great rip tire into Brightwing's face, and it's going to be a triple kill. A hook will connect onto Murden, and I don't think he's going to make it out alive. The body blocks from Vala are just a little too good. And the response dunk! A singular strike. It may be a quadra kill, but I gotta say that that even though you get even though you've you've lost four members, that dunk on the junkrat kill feels so satisfying. That dunk on the um, junkrat kill feels so very good. So the top lane keep will go down. The overgrowth plant is still active, meaning that this team can just sit underneath the fort and shred right through it, and they will. 
Now, are they going to go core? They've still got 20 seconds on average, a little bit more so for Muradin, way less for the Li Ming, now that I look at it a little bit closer, but the damage is pretty good. Anduin going to pop the Holy Word Salvation, get that cooldown reduction once again, get some extra healing to the allies as well. Asbodan can't get enough dunks out, and ladies and gentlemen, this will be map number one going over to the side. Wait, hold on, let me hold that breath here for a second, because that's a lot of damage onto Lag Wagon. Nah, the course should do it. Wait, no, wait, wait. Archon, Archon Pure Power, Archon Pure Power, Archon Pure Power! I don't think that's the right phrasing, I always forget it. Oh, it's, it is Archon Pure Power, haha, ha, I did it. I need, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, uh, while we're rotating here, it's the, um, uh, Mario Party Miss Sound. Wait, hold on, hold on, it's not loud enough, hold on. Miss. <laughs> I need that I need that for when people don't end core. Uh that is that is that is so beautiful. Miss! Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> oh, we need to add that to the stream deck. We need to add that to the stream deck profile, like after this game. <laughs> No Benny Hill. I actually don't. I have a. I don't have a button for that. I do have a button for this though. I'm sure the members of uh, Souls in Slow Mo are feeling like. Uh... <laughs> the the best part of Bloodborne, right there. All of Bloodborne can be surmised in that one audio clip. Uh, does Yavapai- Wait, 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 Miss! <laughs> no way, no, there's no way you win this race! Woo! <laughs> what a game. What a game. Yeah, what a game that was. Oh, I didn't. God, I need, I need to, I just need to buy a second stream deck. <laughs> or like a second XL. Uh... Okay, hold on one second. I've been waiting for it, Hostile! <laughs> you said you were gonna ship it months ago! I mean, I can't flame you. You're gonna give me something for free, so. Hostile with the swag. Mm -hmm. He's gonna he's gonna steal my Elgato hat when he comes to visit. I know it. He's gonna he's the when they come to visit in July or maybe if they come in April or something. He's gonna steal my he's gonna try to. Uh, Bahamut gaming, music, sound bits, paste. Okay, and uh, let me go ahead and show stats really quickly while I fiddle with this. If you're strong, you can fly. You can reach the other sky of the rainbow. It's all right. Take a chance. Because the literal circumstance that you can be wrong. When you lose your mind. Um, I'm running out of space. Where do I want to put this? Oh my god. I'm panicking. Alright, let me pull it on back to Bandit Night, and uh, let me go ahead and put this into a folder somewhere. Oh, uh, we can get rid of that one, because we have a copy of that, and we'll make a folder... This is gonna be uh, other, or just more. We're just gonna make a folder called more. <laughs> All right, so we want the, this. Miss. 
beautiful. Uh, we'll call it Miss, and then we also have a, uh, where is it? Where are you? Where'd it go? Did I not grab it? Oh, I didn't grab it, that's why. It's a Y as well. Why? Oh, I don't have it, okay. Weird. I didn't copy into that. Now we have this. You're too slow! Beautiful, beautiful. Art, art. Alright, let's get into the next game. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Did I miss it all? No, you didn't. You didn't. I just I was I was uh I was adding in this. Miss. <sighs> Sorry, it's it's because I have two sixty nine alerts, so it swaps between the three of them. I will follow you to the end of the world. All right, map number two. Map Subscribe. number two. Map number two. Uh, the Asmodan. Fi did, why is it doing the wrong alert, man? Do the right alert. There we go. Ah, oh, excuse me, miss. Just wondering. Would you be so kind as to show me your panties? Apparently the IRS is using dogs now. They recruited some asset hounds. L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore. I have to go now. Thank you so much <laughs> for amazing casting and a fun afternoon. Today uh, really brought me back and it felt great. Aw, uh, bud. Night, Baha. Good night, chat. Hey, Darth, thanks for the 69 bits and the kind words. I appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you, thank you very much. Angry Gato just slightly irked Gato until Baja stole the Ogato hat. What? It's now in the stream description. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I see. I see what you mean. Sorry, I just I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, where is the match link? There it is. Uh, what do we got here? Q build Falstead. We have a Smuro, No quests. Kira. No. Let's do a. Uh, let's do a uh, Falstead. Let's do a Falstead Q stack. Let's do a Falstead Q stacking. Um. Uh, bu -bu 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 prediction. Um, how many Qs, uh, how many level one stacks for, for Falstad? Uh, it's Sky Temple. There's a lot of poking. Let's say a hundred or more. I feel like that's fair. hundred or more, 99 or less. All right. We'll have two minutes on that after I introduce the teams. Thank you all for hanging out. And, uh, we are going to get into our next map. Um, let me actually, let me get rid of, let me get rid of some ads so they don't run during the game, because I feel like they might. All right, we'll get into the next game in about 90 seconds. In about 90 seconds, we're going to get into our next game. That way, uh, there's no, I think ads might, I think ads might pop up during the next game if I'm not. Okay, yeah, they're, okay, yeah, they were going to pop up during the next game, but now we got them. Okay, cool. Thank you for the cast. Hey, well, thank you so much for playing the games. My my uh, my pleasure to, to, to be able to cast. As I said, uh, we're going to let the ads run so that way people don't have to watch ads during or before or whatever during the game. So that's the big thing. I always try and uh, I always try and get rid of ads and stuff before we do casting. I, I, I wasn't I was kind of bad about it last month. I didn't really pay attention too closely to it. But this month we uh, I'll make sure that I'm, I'm on, on top of it. Uh, in the meantime, while we are waiting, I do want to remind you that we do have a bid going on. We have a bid going on. If you'd like to bid on a painting, I am selling my Baja Rosses. Uh, one, because I'm running out of room in my house. But two, the big thing is is quite literally it's to pay bills. Like it's it's the the last Baja Ross I I sold. It was a good chunk of money that was able to help me pay for groceries for for basically a month, uh, excluding beer. I mean, we just cut out beer completely in that. So. 
Uh, but as I said, it's uh, it's it's a good way to to help. Uh, it's a good way to help pay bills, but also you can get a piece of artwork if you want. February was fuck those ads month. That is true. February was fuck those ads month. Yay, groceries. Groceries, yes, yes. Food. Food for me and Bandit. Actually, speaking of, I gotta run out to the store after stream and grab a uh, bag of food for Bandit because there's a snowstorm coming and he will run out of food during the snowstorm. He's got, a, like, we have enough for, like, three days or whatever, but there's a snowstorm coming and I don't want to have to be stuck trying to go get a bag of food in the middle of it or during... The worst part. All right, as I said, we have all of that going, all that's done, so let's get into the game. On the left hand side, we have got the I members of prepared. Swim. We've when got a May, Samuro, Orphea, Brightwing, and Kira. Over on the side of SIS, or Souls in Slow Mo, we are going to be seeing Anubarak, Falstead, Raynor, Anduin, and Leoric. Now, as I mentioned, Falstead will be going into Gathering Storm level one. I'll start a two-minute prediction. You can get your prediction in as to how many stacks will Falstead finish by the end of the game. So you might be like, Bahamut, how can Falstead get 100 if there's out of 30? Well, that is because at 30, you increase the damage by 15%. But it is an uncapped quest, meaning you can continue building those stacks beyond 30. It's just at the 30 mark, you get a jump in damage that is equal to what you've already raised. So at 30 stacks, you have 15%. But then at 30 stacks, you get an additional 15%. So that's that. Lastly, for anyone that may not know, it is not a repeatable quest. It's not like every 30 you get an additional 15 on top of it. That'd be freaking wild. I feel like we'd see first pick false at that point. That'd be broken as all hell. But as I mentioned, there's a prediction going, and you can gamble as to how many Qs false dead will land. Alrighty, let's get into it. Sky Temple, we have a Samuro in the top lane, and Nubrak burrows in immediately. We've got some good damage poking out from the Rainer, and we will have Falstead move into bottom. Leoric over in the top lane, going into Oasin's Renewal. Going to be having some uh, self-sustainability with that one, but also keep in mind, it is a 20-second cooldown for every regeneration globe Leora picks up, so you can really be able to use this often so long as you're getting regeneration globes from your wave, and maybe even stealing some from the enemy if possible. Yavapai comp is pure spice. I like it. I like it. We don't get to see much Kira. That's the other thing, too, is what I like about going into, like, Division, uh, like, E and stuff like that, is that you get to see... It's not so much, like, comforts, well, it's not so much like, it's a little bit of comfort, but it also is you get to see some of these like, I've played a bunch of Kira, I know I can make this work against the enemy sort of deals. Because it's not, it's, I guess, confidence. I guess you can say there's confidence in heroes that we don't normally see being utilized, which I, I very much appreciate. Sandstorm is the, wait, what? Druid Sandstorm is the Canadian version? Sorry, now, now, just the... <laughs> I played the video. I played the video for, for the people that came by the movie night last month. And someone was like, I forgot that there was, a, there was a video for this. It's such a weird video, too. Or was that? It might have not been seen. I don't remember. It was so long ago. Six apiece in our structure still. Our first objective phase will be up in the top and the center of the map. As Falstead and Siege Giants get a little bit of value down here. Falstead at six stacks currently. As we do not have much betting on this one here, but that's okay. We got some active betters, I'll take it. Phase Shifter gonna get some drain onto Shan. And it doesn't look like Samuro is going to stick around too long. Falstead gonna get full HP, or excuse me, full mana. I was about to say, didn't he, did he go barrel? Yeah, he did. He went uh, updraft as well. I saw that indefinite shield sitting on his health bar. I was like, oh, okay, all right. You're trying to be productive? Don't. It's two o'clock on a Thursday. Time to go get pizza and beer. Anubarak misses the burrow onto May, or if you're gonna try and poke from the far side of this engagement. May gets the icing out, little chomp from the Orphea, a grapple hook away, a very low bright wing will go down, that's first blood over the side of our red team, as Leoric will be traded, face shifter does go down to the auto of Orphea. Mm 
Oh, Snowstorm. Sorry, I don't know. I, I, I just read Sandstorm. Anyways. Oh, Don is so very low. Is able to back away. Orpheus trying to chase in. May gets pushed back. May's icing doesn't come through. And there's no kill. But the tap on the well. The big burrow in as well. A new Brack and Rainer to go down. Right wing. 4 HP. Okay, I was about to say. If right wing loses 4 HP, that'd be wild right there. But a little bit of a trade. We still have the temples being uh, fired. I want to point out during all of this. Samuro in top. Hello. May does go down as we are watching Samuro get the last shots out into top lane, which will take down the fort. Samuro going to start soaking up the wave that does arrive in the fort area. And overall, it is a good start for Swim on map number two, Sky Temple, in this best of three series here in NGS Division E East. You have stolen enough. Orphea, she's not going stacks, okay. Going to be going in for the Insatiable, hitting an, a, a hero with Chomp sets the cooldown to... Two seconds. Sp specific on that verbiage there. Ooh, do we get the, uh, do we get the, uh, yeah! Shan gets the, uh, combo. Good job, Shan. Nice, nice. What do we call it? Feature. Nice utilization of a feature on Samuro. He doesn't have bugs. Samuro has features. I learned this from Stark. Newbrack burrows under the point. False dead. Uh, barrel rolls in, getting a little bit of that extra shielding. Gonna try and auto through the enemy team, but now this Falstad's out of position and will go down. Kira chases it onto Anduin. Oh, Anduin, did you just kill your teammate? A little bit, a little bit. I'm not sure. Raynor might have been able to get away in the direction he was heading. I'm not 100% sure, but it kind of it feels like one of those Kaimo cleanses that sets up a kill. Well, I guess, you know, Kaimo cleanse. Sets up a kill into your ally. Because I know for a fact, if Kaimo could, if Kaimo was like, I'm gonna die and I'm playing in a game with him, he'd take me down, like, take me down with him. Like, if it was an ARAM, he'd be like, you know what, Bahamut, you, you could use some mana. <laughs> I could see it. I could see him doing it to me for revenge. Boss over here hasn't been taken and it's gonna be Leash back to full. No, it's gonna be Leash, excuse me, not back to full. So it's gonna be Leash once. Uh, this is super risky. This is a back, a step in back from Swim. May goes down first. Phase shifter load. Gonna try and drain through the enemy health bars, and it's working out for now. Falstead getting some great damage. May, Samuro, Orphea all going to be falling here. Kira doesn't get the grapple, and a fourth kill will be had. Brightwing able to back away the lone defender here as the Siege Giant and Bottom will continue to siege out. Whoo, what a fight. My magic flows through the temples. Guardians, do not let these mortals approach them. Six to s wa a a a a Ooh, wa a a a Can we get down with the sickness? Can we get down with the sickness, chat? Locust Swarm? Locust Swarm. Deal 105 damage, scaling. Per second to nearby enemies. Each enemy damage restores 37 HP and it lasts six seconds. I remember when I tried to make Locust Swarm work with Justing in Please Try This at Home. You're welcome. You're welcome! I always think of community. I never think of Moana. I always think of the community when Piers has the song where he sings You're Welcome, and that's basically it. Uh, anyways, we have a Eternal Feast from Orphea. Gets one, two, three, a few chomps actually going through right there. We have a Gust out from Falstead, but he still dies to the, to the May. Camel, low, doesn't get hit with a penetrating round, and May's able to get the icing out as well. Now, the Samuro's rotated down, and the pressure's on to Archangel. I think that's how you say their name. Don's able to get down here and get the last few shots. Samuro is going to intercept him in the rotation. All right. Hey, Locust Swarm got value, I guess. Anubarak's alive, so it got value, right? Nano boosted Locust Swarm might be fun. It's a good point. But but then you have to have someone play Ana and, and land those skill shots. Whew, whee, that's a that's a hard one. Falstead, 19 stacks currently. Bahama Gaming, there's a great sponsorship waiting for me. Oh my god, a great sponsorship's waiting for us, chat. We could uh we could be playing Mech Arena.
We could be playing we could be playing a mobile game that is massively saturated already on Twitch and requires people to make new accounts for me to make money. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm going to be taking up any Mech Arena mobile game sort of uh sponsorships anytime soon. Face shifter will be scouted out in the bush. Gonna be trying to, and actually will be able to ba uh, back off just fine. I thought the uh, wraith walk would not be enough. I thought there would be good bursting and sustained damage from these four. An entomb from the York, an internal feast from the Orphea. We also have Falstaff with a short distance flight. Gust the enemy team back into the lane. Still have a lot available for Orphea. She's got a full bar of HP. Not a whole lot of mana, but that's still A-OK. -okay. She can step in and get some good damage. Brightwing. We'll take down the false dead. Face shift on to Samuro. He has the wind walk to back away. Blink heal from Brightwing to get out as well. So, Kira and false dead traded. I thought that fight was actually going to be a lot more chaotic in the moment, but mm, not the case. Kira on 134 stacks on her level 1. Almost done with the fatal wounds. After damaging heroes with blood rage. Uh, uh, blood rage... Blood rage's bleed damage. 150 times blood rage's duration is increased by 2 seconds. Alrighty, so the temple shots in mid fire to mid keep. Temple shots in bottom fire to bottom fort. This is going to be shots wow. from souls in slow mo, getting much more value. Uh, wow, indeed. Hey, what's up, Raka? I was telling, uh. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We were talking about divisions and stuff from earlier. We were having some fun discussions about divisions and NGS earlier. Shots into the mid lane keep. I hope you're doing well, Raka. Thanks for uh, swinging by. I'm so, I'm start I'm starting I'm starting NGS drama. That's what I'm trying to do. Until I choose. You're a Yavapai alumni. I, I, is like, I've, isn't the Yavapai team kind of like the Wu Tang? Like everyone's in in the Wu Tang. <laughs> Does someone say NGS drama? Yeah, sure. Ask Raka about Division D and me. <laughs> oh boy, last season. 16 apiece in our levels, 10 to 8 in the kills, and this is going to be a bush setup right here. Samuro might have scouted it out. Oh, Shan, gonna be able to swap around here. That's gonna be a route onto the May. Not a route, excuse me, the cryo freeze. Ah, uh, that's not the right word either. Anyways, penetrating round to the face, and Orphea will go down. We'll see the uh, Rainer traded in the moment. Uh, Don, so very low, did use Locust Swarm. Locust Swarm bought a little bit of health, did it buy enough? Nah, it didn't. Kira's bleed is gonna be too strong for the Beatles. <laughs> someone is definitely smurfing. You nailed it, you nailed it. You nailed it. Yep. It was me, Dio. It was actually, it was, uh... It was actually Colonel Mustard in Haunted Mines with the Candelabra. Let's be honest, it's always Colonel Mustard. Yeah. Yeah, Raka. I mean, if you just go back to our DMs, it's like right there. Which was, the, the funniest thing is I didn't even know it was happening until you messaged me and I was like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I, I didn't know this was a thing, but okay. That was the first time I heard about it. Camel getting low here. Barrel roll forward from Falstead. Entomb from Leoric. May is gonna slide right into it. Does she have a cryo freeze? Not for, oh no, she does have it. Did she have it? Hold on, I don't know the cooldown on it. Base oh, she did, she literally used it when we were showing it. Samara in top lane, shots. Shots, 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 shots. Or if he had to try and poke in a little bit with Dread. Yeah, I'm on my, uh, I'm on my 17th bronze to GM attempt. The last thing in our- oh, no, I mean- okay. <laughs> Sorry, in my Discord, it's like right there when I open it up at the top of my uh, Discord, so. 
<laughs> That's why. <laughs> Alrighty, so the bottom shots will t uh, not take down. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, da -da -da -da. How much damage is left? I don't think the keep goes down. <laughs> it's so low. Top lane is very low as well. Uh, could Raynor call down a mule? If Raynor could call down a mule, that'd be uh, really handy. Maybe uh, if Malfurion was in the game, he could do it too. You're right, I need to DM you more. Yeah, absolutely. More animal photos, please. Thank you. That's all I really I was getting at. That into that to that to make ambiguous comments about drama that doesn't exist. <laughs> I have to I have to generate some drama, some like streamer drama, so that way I get like more viewership. I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? Like you say things like you say crazy things like Oh man, I think I think Phoenix is a bad hero, and then and then and then you generate good, then you generate a bunch of viewers from that, right? That's how it works. Hyperion out from the Rainer. Nubrak tried to burrow in to steal the boss, but it was just a touch too late. And this will be boss cleared. I don't think boss will really find much value in bottom lane, if any. This team should be able to handle most of it as the rotation happens. And since there's Samuro on top with Bladestorm to clear things out over here. Yeah, this is, this is an easy, quick, easy and quick clear on the boss. Oh, you can post stuff like that, Raka. You're fine. I trust you. Ah, uh, Gust. No wind tunnel, but Gust, big boomerang as well. Galakatos. Galakatos. I, I probably murdered their name, but big old chomp from Orphea. Sarah Lynn gonna get some some value from that. Avalanche from the May. Whoa, that's a huge two second stun. Uh, if you don't know, by the way, Avalanche has the stun duration is increased by how many enemy heroes are consumed. So it's 0.5. So just read the bottom of the message. It's uh and stunning them for 0.5 seconds per hero consumed. So that's a two-second stun if, if, if since they got all four of those players. Ooh, Samuro's got sustained chase on to Raynor. Now, does Samuro get away? Yes, because he has uh, buttons. Because he has buttons. Mid shots to mid keep. Uh, I believe the shots then go up to top lane, I think. Well, we're going to find out if it prioritizes weaker lanes. I think it just goes to top, I think. A new Brack to grab a camp, because, I mean, you need a consolation prize if you lost your false dead Rainer. Can't really go to objective phasing. Samuro's going to go push up mid. He's going to blade storm that wave really quickly. Falls. Okay, so let's see. Last, uh, last, some, oh, oh, that's huge. Double keep. Bottom lane keep will be going down. So at least there's that. These shots will not take down the keep, but it will take out the keep front gate. 15 to 10 in kills. 21 to 20 in our levels. It is a win condition for either team in the next fight. Rainer's dead for the next 10 seconds. What is the Locust Swarm? What is, I don't even know what the Locust Swarm level 20 is because I've, I've never seen anyone take it. Uh, game permanent Vampire Locust that attacks nearby enemies every three seconds. The Vampire Locust deals uh, 362 damage in return. Uh, heal for 175. Okay. Avalanche from the May, a half a second stun onto a new Brack. Brightwing gets the blink heal out as the Eternal Feast gets a couple little chomps right there. Kira's not going to land the revolving sweep. The wind tunnel from the Falstad utilized to save the moment, but K4K taking a lot of damage from Shan. Will Shan be able to swap? Yes, I do indeed. No, they didn't get the swap that I was thinking. I thought I thought that was, uh, I, I couldn't see the model correctly, so it is going to be Shan going down. Look at that little buddy, that little buddy. Uh, uh, oh, souls in slow motion. They got to worry here. There's a catapult at their core. They, I, I don't think you end here. I think you run back to your core. I mean, look, there's camp, there's a camp to be grabbed. Boss is up in a minute 39. I don't think you want to end here. A, uh, look, there's a camp to, what are you doing? There's camps to get. You have catapults. Uh, you better panic and run back home. Hyperion out from the Rainer. This is looking like souls in slow motion are going to be able to take this map, Eternal Feet. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I call it too early? Yamato Cannon gets one good shot out oh, right there. Sarah Lynn. Getting chunked by a Nubarak and friends. The, ooh, the Entomb from Leork will pull two of them inside. This should be a double kill really quickly. Or if it does get the Shadow Wolves to back away. 
Rainer still pepper in the Oh god. Oh god. Oh lo oh my god. Oh lord. Alrighty, I do think that uh, regardless of the catapult jokes on the right hand side, Samuro may be able to do uh, his best blade storm on the enemy team, but Rainer's on core. And that's going to be the members of Souls in Slow Mo taking the series in a 2 0. GG, well played.